the key to success and the key to a successful weight loss journey is knowing yourself. Don't compare yourself to anybody. But let's talk about weight loss. First of all, my voice is a little raspy because I just got over a major flu. So I'm still like recovering. I feel so, so, so much better because your girl was down there like, I, I, oh, I felt so bad, you guys. But yeah, I feel better now. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am China Renee. And if you're not new, welcome back, China Gang. I missed you guys so much. Man, I was so sick. And because I was sick, I have lost even more weight. And this was not weight that I was trying to lose or wanted to lose or needed to lose. But let's get into it. This entire video is sponsored by C3X Fitness. These two products not only help me lose weight, but help me keep the weight off. I love my jump rope. Consistently use this for cardio. And I love my C3X sweatband so much. Cause ain't nobody got time for fat. Okay, before we get started, let me fix my nail because I broke my nail. My nail back on real quick. So if you're new to my channel, I have done so many fitness videos, weight loss, inspiration, workout videos, motivation, all kinds of videos in regards to fitness and health. It's been a journey that I have been on for a very long time. It's a nonstop journey. It never ends, basically. Fitness is a lifestyle change. So I just made my breakfast and I said, let me go ahead and record this video while I'm eating. If you can see that, it's avocado toast with red pepper flakes. And then I have two slices of bacon for my protein. You can do whatever protein you like. If you're vegan, do vegan. If you're pescatarian, do your pescatarian protein. Whatever protein fits your needs and your lifestyle, just make sure you include that. Okay, and then I'm also having a protein shake this morning. Let me taste it. Mmm. Oh, this is so good. I have been wanting smoothies this whole week. Like, that's all I've pretty much been able to drink. I didn't have an appetite the whole week I was sick. And I'm just now getting my taste buds back. Avocados have some of the best fats for you. They're really good fats. Okay, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I could not film and eat at the same time because my avocado toast was just too good. So I put the bacon on top. Mm-mm. I couldn't stop eating long enough to just sit here and talk to you guys. So anyways, my smoothie is so delicious. It has strawberries, half a banana, pineapple, my Herbalife orange cream protein formula one, a little orange juice, and I use the sugar-free orange juice. The good thing about me is I'm always on camera. So even when I lose weight, it doesn't necessarily always show on camera camera does still put on like weight it adds i don't know how many pounds these days with the hd cameras but it still adds weight so to me when i look at myself in person i look a lot smaller than maybe what you guys see on camera i currently weigh 144 pounds which is pretty small for me i'm five six and a half and i think i get way too skinny like around Anything below 145 is really small for me personally because I like curves. I like my hips. I like my butt. And right now, like, my butt is small because when you start to lose weight, you cannot pick and choose where it comes off at. And for me, I'll start to lose weight in my face, which I don't mind. I don't need no double chins. I don't have a double chin. And I don't like having a double chin because when I gain weight, I do get fat, like right in that area. I also start to lose my butt because it's like probably the fattest part of my body. My thighs, my hips, and my butt has the most weight. So now that I've been sick, I've been losing weight around my butt. And I just feel like my booty is small. Like I can't wait to get back into the gym so that I can do deadlifts, squats, 
thrust and just like continuously work on building my butt so that it doesn't deflate. Okay. Loss. You guys, your weight really truly depends on you. You cannot compare your weight loss journey to anyone else's. You cannot compare your weight loss to anyone else's. There's so many reasons why we lose weight and gain weight. Health. Your health is probably the biggest concern, mental health and physical health. When it comes to weight loss and weight loss journeys, please make sure that your mental health comes before anything else. Because stress, stress will cause you to overeat, not eat, eat and throw up your food. It'll make you sick. And that obviously will contribute to your weight either going up or down. Some people who get stressed, they overeat and they just continuously gain weight. And it's hard to lose that because it's emotional. Your emotions are attached to it. So it's extremely difficult to do. Also, there are some people who stress and don't eat. I'm like one of those people. Sometimes if I'm too stressed or I have too much on my brain, I'll forget to eat. And then like this week I was sick, I couldn't eat. So I didn't have an appetite for days. So that weight just kept coming off of me. Also, there are people obviously who have eating disorders. So that contributes to your weight. So it really just depends on you. You have to take the time to really assess yourself. Talk to your doctors, talk to your friends, talk to your family, talk to people who can help you when it comes to your weight. If you have been struggling with being overweight all your life, then it's time to consider talking to your doctor. There are so many treatments, so many procedures. There are so many things that we can do now as humans to help us um, regulate our weight and to get us to a healthy weight where we don't have to struggle. I feel like I'm bloated right now. I don't know, maybe I'll wipe the camera, but. I haven't been able to work out and I haven't really been able to eat right, but these smoothies have really been keeping me together because even though I haven't had much food this week, I have been making smoothies and the protein intake has been helping me to not only get healthier, but to feel better. Um, during this week, I did make like a chicken, a white chicken chili, uh, white chicken chili. I made that and I ate on that and I just kind of nursed myself back. Like that was the only thing I really could eat during this week. I just loaded it up with chicken. They had the chicken in it, the beans, the corn, the peppers and everything like that. And so I was able to eat that and kind of get myself back together. But when it comes to losing weight, you literally have to be disciplined. Discipline over everything. You have to want it. It's so hard to stick to eating healthy and working out because it gets boring. I totally can agree and I understand it gets very boring, but you have to want it. If you want it, you'll do it. For me, I've always used my clothes as motivation. If I can't fit my clothes, if they're too tight and too little, like it frustrates me so bad. So I've always kind of used that as a gauge, like, okay, I've put on too much weight or I'm too skinny. Like if I put on a medium and it's too big, I get a little annoyed. I'm like, wait a minute now, I wasn't trying to be a small. I don't want to be a small, okay? I like medium. I like big butts and I cannot lie. I like a nice, soft, round booty, hips, small waist, and I'm just kind of naturally shaped like that. But everybody is not, and I recognize that. The key to success and the key to a successful weight loss journey is knowing yourself. Don't compare yourself to anybody. Please, it's so important that you don't get on this internet and compare yourself to people that you see online and you go like, how come I don't look like that? Or why? When I work out, I don't look like this. Please don't do that. God made us all unique and we really need to accept that, embrace that, and be okay with it. It's okay if you got little boobs. It's okay if you got big boobs. It's okay if you got flat butt 
or huge, but naturally, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's cool. We all different. Use what you got to get what you want. I'm just kidding. Use what you got and work with that, okay? Like, you have to just make sure you're healthy before anything else. Fitness, cardio, strength training, four to five times a week. Make yourself do it. Find the time. Carve it out. Even if it's in the morning, if it's at night, it doesn't matter. Do it. Stop being lazy. Like, we are so lazy as, like, just humans in general. We want everything handed to us, and we want everything fast. That's why a lot of people, like, go to get plastic surgery. It's quick. It's painful. That recovery ain't no joke. And you do have to maintain it. But in our minds, it's like, okay, I can go get this stomach cut out. Like, that's going to be like, whatever, surgery time. It's shorter than going to the gym and losing it. That's your business. You can do that. But first thing you got to do is do something. <laughs> change the way that you eat. Change the way that you think. And then once you get that mentality, you have to stick to it. Like, that's been my whole thing. I've just stuck with it. And lately, I have been able to maintain my weight. I have not been fluctuating. I have been healthy. I've been he happy. I haven't had any issues with my weight. Like, I would say, like, within the last year, year, consistent year, I haven't had no problems with my weight. My weight has pretty much been the same. I've been in the same size, and that's how I want to be. And I don't even work out, like, as much as I used to. I used to work out five times a week. And then I got so busy like I haven't been able to go to the gym and all that stuff lately so mentally you have to get yourself to that point where you really just want to change you can watch a thousand videos on YouTube you can say it a thousand times I want to lose weight I want to change I don't want to be fat I don't want to do this I don't want to be skinny I want to gain weight you can tell yourself that all the time but if you don't put any action to it nothing's going to change at all and you have to give yourself time. Give yourself 45 days straight. Don't quit. Don't give up. 45 days straight, consistently. Working out, eating right. Do it and see the results that you will get. Try my products. I've been pushing this stuff for so long. Obviously, it works. You have to make sure you don't have other health issues like fibroids. Um diabetes. There's so many things, so many other factors that can cause you to gain weight, especially belly fat. So talk to your doctors. A lot of us don't go to the doctor enough. And make this year the year that you change. Don't sit here and watch me and tell me that you're going to do it and you don't. Because I feel amazing. Like I, I look at myself every day now and I'm just like so happy. I feel youthful, like I feel like so re-energized and revitalized and I need to be on the beach immediately. I am taking me some trips by myself this year because I don't have nobody right now, but or maybe me and my mom, I want to take a trip with my mother and my sister, but I'm trying to go get on the beach and I'm trying to just have my butt out. Like I'm not even going to lie to you. I'm about to put on a thong bikini on the beach and enjoy myself. There are so many options of food that you can choose that's so healthy for you and they taste good. So find what you enjoy and just continue to eat that. Make sure you're getting enough protein. Make sure you know your body fat percentage. Make sure you understand how much exercise you need because some of us need a lot more than others. Cardio is your friend. Do it. 30 to 45 minutes of it. Don't let these people tell you don't do cardio because you need it. Your heart needs it. It needs it. You also need strength training. You need to lift weights. You need to be able to hold your own body weight up. Push-ups, sit-ups, like you've got to be able to do this. If you can't do that, you can't even do a full sit-up or crunch or push-up, that means you're out of shape. Set short-term goals, achieve those goals, and keep going. I have so many different um, clients that I've worked with, and we've set goals just like jump room jumping rope some of my clients couldn't jump rope like literally could not jump rope and by the time they were done with me and my challenges they were jumping 
a thousand skips plus. I'm telling you, killing it, losing weight consistently because you have to just be consistent with it. So those are the keys to having a very successful weight loss journey. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what questions you have down below. I'm still getting over this sickness. Like you guys can hear it. Like I've been coughing like crazy still, but I'm feeling a lot better. I'm getting a lot better. I'm not ready to go back to the gym, but when I do, we'll start to do some exercises together. But as of now, I'm just going to be sticking to my protein shakes and eating healthy from the house. And I'm about to start stretching because I can feel my muscles all tightening up. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you for another one soon.